A team of Canadian scientists and clinicians, led by Dr. Michael Hill of the Calgary Stroke Program and Hotchkiss Brain Institute, have demonstrated that a new neuroprotectant drug can shield the brain from the damaging effects of stroke. The landmark clinical trial, conducted at centres across Canada and the United States, has shown a reduction in the amount of brain damage caused by the small strokes that often occur in patients during surgery to repair brain aneurysms. An act study should be viewed as a proof of concept study that it's possible to, to do neuroprotection with a drug in humans. And specifically what we did was showed that we could reduce the number of strokes that were associated with uh, endovascular aneurysm repair by 50%. The drug, TAT-NR2B9C, was developed at Toronto Western Hospital by Dr. Michael Timiansky. In more than 1,000 attempts to develop such drugs, this is the first to successfully make the leap from the laboratory to proven positive outcomes in humans. We took a very controlled situation, meaning patients um, who are being scheduled for brain aneurysm treatment, brain aneurysm surgery. In those patients, when we're trying to fix their brain aneurysm, but one of these side effects can actually be causing a stroke, where blood clots could actually be going up into the brain. The chance is low, but not zero. So what this study did was essentially take those patients, and after the brain aneurysm was fixed, half of the patients, by chance, got the drug, and half got a placebo medication intravenously. The next day we did an MRI scan and in those patients who had, um, who had the medication, they had significantly less strokes. Millie Nellis was one of the patients in the clinical trial who received the new drug before undergoing brain surgery. I had no qualms whatsoever in saying I'd be happy to do this because if I can help other people, I mean, somebody has to be, you know, first. Now, I didn't know, and they didn't know whether or not I would get the placebo or whether I'd actually get the real NA. And what happened was the follow-up after my surgery was incredible. They found that I had not had zero, any strokes. I didn't have a minor stroke. I didn't have a mild stroke. I was acceptable to them, you know, because I'd had, had previous ones. And also, too, because of the particular brain aneurysm and the surgery that I was going to have, it was pretty you know, it would be pretty common that I would have strokes. So the fact that I had zero, um, I, I absolutely, absolutely believe that this NA1 drug saved my life. While it will be some years before the drug is widely available, it is a promising breakthrough in stroke treatment. Um, a neuroprotectant um, may either protect the brain or reverse damage or buy us more time to do appropriate treatments. We have a great team here and um, you know, we've had support from the Hotchkiss Brain Institute, our department, clinical neurosciences and tremendous support from you know, the Calgary Health region and now the Calgary Health Zone throughout. And in fact, it's translated. We have, great, uh, we have a good stroke program provincially. The Edmonton group is fantastic and, the, uh, and, and we've, we've organized the province into, through the Alberta Provincial Stroke Strategy to deliver stroke care and we're, we're trying to make it better all the time.